Hello everybody and welcome back to Belle's channel and today we are continuing our days gone walkthrough um I just come outside of the hot springs encampment and straight away Boozer has got on the radio so I think I'm gonna have the next step from here so let's listen Boozer why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk I couldn't sleep you, you remember what I said back in the tunnel don't go up there Dick. It's, it's making you crazy. Boozer, I... Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer, get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. Tulips, Boozer, there's stone crop. Get it right. Alright, what did you do? Mission unlocked. What did you do? Okay, this is part of the... So, residual bolt craft recipe. I've already done that. Alright, um, so what did you do? Clear the abandoned Nero refugee camp. Ah, so that's Obviously, we're doing the visit Sarah's memorial stone. Okay, I don't mind doing that. Learn a bit more about what happened to Sarah. So she must have made it to the refugee camp then. You know, she must have like made it if she was, you know, because she went in the helicopter. That's the last time we saw her. But she must have made it to the refugee camp because Deacon even said. So O'Brien, this who was a graduate student when this happened, who now seems to be quite a big part of learning about the Freakers, um, he was supposed to be there and Deacon said something about him. Uh, so he did survive the refugee camp, which he was with Sarah. So I think that's probably why Deacon's so interested in finding out. Because he knows what happened to Sarah. He knows what went down. <coughs> I gotta burn him out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Oh shit. Come back later, finish burning out these nests. Right, so this must be an infected zone, so Pagan's Lake infestation. Hot springs would get 750 and there's three nests to clear out. Generally when there's fewer nests, there's more freakers. So this has quite a few. If you're really good on a motorbike... Nest. Whew. Gotta be right around here. There's one. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. So we'll mark them on there so you know where they are. So it is just bloody easier with the with that gun, I just need to get more bullets. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back because I definitely saw like, do I need a med kit even? Definitely saw a medical ambulance. And like that. They don't really have that now, but I could craft another much of a cocktail. Okay. So fire and rescue. Took a while this one. 
but it had valuable stuff. Emergency vehicle vehicles generally do. I don't imagine there'd be yeah, it'd just be another med kit, but I don't need that. There is stuff some stuff in here. Ammo. That's what I was looking for. I like how it is still scavenging because I kind of felt like this game wasn't very into like scavenging areas and things. Home Hot Springs Gasbrook. Alright, I, th I got my ammo, that's really all I wanted. Oh, that must have hurt. That definitely hurt my ears. I definitely hear walls. So Rebel Rock Cave. Oh, cave. That's gonna be hard soon. I ain't taking it out. No way, no sir. Yeah, always. That's the cave. Is that fuel? Yes, it is. Fill that up. Please call there. Let me see if I can see another nest. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs> It's <laughs> off. because I got too close to the nest. So that's definitely a horde. No, how many? How many shots can you fucking take? It took me 11 to kill two freaking wolves. Great, I'm glad I got some ammo. Just took, I don't know how much then, like 50? Jesus! Right, where am I going? Where am I going? Where's the other wolf? Oh, up there. So that was two nests. So there's one in that truck, the one in the thing below there. But generally, where there's. I'm guessing where there'll be hordes, which there's a horde in there. 
there's going to be hold on I'm just gonna make sure I've got everything I can I need some supplies I was scared to break. I keep pressing R1 to break. Hello bad guys, or bad things in the water. Oh yeah. So just as I left, that's all right. I think it's going to be a lot. All right, I'm gonna leave my bike there. I guess I need to make an escape. Narrow checkpoint. Okay, there's a lot of emergency vehicles, so I'm gonna. Is it gonna take before all of this is finally gone? Okay, we're gonna enter kind of story with some things. Better off on the ship. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. Right. I think I can bring my bike up, to be honest with you. Don't fancy leaving it around here just in case, anyway. I don't like to be too far away from it. Definitely some freaks up there. Hear them. Okay. No, I don't want that. Cop car up there that I want to get to. There's some fuel there as well that I can probably blow up. If I sneak up very, very quietly. I'm 
can fill up my bike and then use it to kill whatever ones I need killing. Watch, I'm gonna try and experiment with something. <laughs> that was freaking fun. It's so fun. I should have used my freaking pistol ammo. I need to attach my suppressor. I got that suppressor, but it's got like 80. Right, there's a few bits. What does it need? Bottles. <laughs> I imagine there's going to be some sort of recording as well. Oh, I can enter this chest. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. I think that's like an automated thing, like once you've reached so much trust. But really what runs have we done? We've got Leon's thing that's it. <laughs> But we are being nice to them, so they are friendly to us. I can hear another one. Somewhere, I can just hear it. Right, let's get into the main bit now. in there. Yeah. So I need to get round. Got it. I think like, I'm taking very long, but I am just trying to make sure I get everything.
Alright, search the rest. This is a big site. Let me reload on them. There's another bit of gas there. There is a med kit there, actually, you know, if you get injured. Marissa. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. I'm doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. Alright, so we need to get rid of these remaining nine freakers. That'll get their fucking attention. Oh, yeah, so. Oh shit, roll dude. Roll. Oh. 
That was a good one, that one. Hold on, there's a... There was a ton of stuff in here. I didn't even have to use my mouth, so... Oh. Oh. Hey, me again. Oh. Ah, oh, how tragic is it? Poor sod. Oh, we're doing a cutscene. Because, like, how do we know, like, we need to know how he knew she was there and stuff. Because we knew he was going to go there. Deep, I gotta tell you something. Ah, oh, hey, it's okay. It's just it's further back. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was gonna go away like this. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey, don't lose a name. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, oh. Stabbed me. Oh, wait, sir. Uh... Oh, yeah. uh, God. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. I think... He might have assumed she died of that. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Near a checkpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged out. Then to that point. This is what happened at the beginning. This goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, shit. And it cut scene. Oh, no. You want me to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. So it's kind of like the freakers just start becoming violent. You know, like it was a kid holding a knife, and then they eventually turned feral. And turned into more of their primitive state. So much so that now they live in. So it it may. Nest. Oh, we okay. didn't see this bit. Easy, easy. This is what they found near around, I'm guessing. You got her on the chopper. She reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Because mm. we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just. She used to hide her head in her coat just like that. I haven't oh. got my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move him over here. We ain't going that way. Ah. Uh, come on. Alright, yes, we are. You can probably move. smell our blood. Yeah, I got it. I'm here. There, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. There's a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed my wife. Oh no no no! Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I just you killed her. Oh, oh shit. You killed my wife. You killed her. Stop that! Stop that! Oh shit. Let's go. 
So that's what happened in between. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong? That's O'Brien. She's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been. Stuck. Some previous videos, you'll know, like post-apocalypse, what it's like. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. So I wonder why we're rewatching it. I get we got the new information, but why are we rewatching it? It's supposed Where to be a refresher. What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. So we're kind of getting to see the whole story that. now. Hopefully, we'd have to rewatch it every single fucking time. So after she left, we don't know what happened. No. We don't know what happened to her. We were saying she died. We obviously know that O'Brien survived. Because they were talking about him. We were raging to her, so... After this, we don't know what happened. It's taking a little time to load. There we go, it's popped up at the bottom. It never reaches all the way across. Usually it's like three quarters of the way and then it'll... Yeah, there we go. You, uh, you rest easy, okay. I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, man. I know, yeah, you would want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh... Like I said, I'll be back. So what did you do? 3000 XP leveled up. We got some with hot springs obviously for clearing out freakers. And now we're eleven percent deal with my past dealing with my past. We've done twenty three percent of finding Nero now. So I remember that's what it's called. So searching for something, drive to location. I can hear a helicopter. So now we're look, yeah, we're in the Belknap wilderness, which is we're only got eight percent. But um, yeah, that is an infested area down there, isn't it? I've killed two of all three nests. Boozer, another Nero chopper. Wonder what the hell they're up to. This is the way out. Oh, damn it, run 
wrong way. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about where it all began. The roots go deep. Back to the big WW2. 1947, the feds passed uh, what they call it, the National Security Act. Now, what this did was give the feds the right to take over our roads, railroads, and radio. Anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. But we're still here. Shining the spotlight of truth on the world. The truth is, I've seen it coming. Years ago, we had photos. Nero death camps built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. Oh, shit. It won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you were right about one thing, Cope. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps, just not the way you were expecting. Nero death camps, though, right? Camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. What time is it? Quickly, that pops up so quick. It's five a.m. There's another ambush camp. We'll hit that on the way back, I think. And then we'll carry on going to this location where there's a Nero chop chopper. I think I'm getting a bit better about this fight. Not amazingly, but still. Sniper ambush, oh god damn it. I think I need to clear out the last whatever. I don't get what I'm doing with this dude. Ah, oh, okay, now I can talk to him. Hey, 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 it's okay. 
Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Wait, I'll go, I'll go. Where? Show me, show me! Wait, um, we'll do the hot springs. You get trust for going to Copeland's camp, but... Well, we've done two to Copeland's go camp now. Three-fingered Jack, find the Salome hot springs, talk to Alki Turner. He'll help you out. Thank you so much for stopping. I was so dead. I was never getting out of here. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Keep your head down and run. Yeah, I'll come back for whatever. Let's run to this location. Whoa! What am I looking at here? We're waiting until night time. Now we're riding proper. You went up there and get hit. After I told you not to. Fuck! I just leave it. Right, I'm just out hunting, freaks, boozer. You got that bounty. The only reason that I go up there. This is putting my driving skills to the test. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. You're not gonna just drive up to him, do you, can you? Stupid Deep. so close. Deep, what's going on? Son of a bitch. What happened? You okay? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I think they were just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deep. Remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Dig it out. He's not going to be an idiot, idiot and ride up to him again. Ooh, I need to get some saddlebags. Oh, let's watch, let's watch. Isn't working. No, it's working. Well, this little shit you turn your head off right now. Oh, Doc, stay it up. Oh, Doc, calm down. Hey, Tommy, give me a minute. What are you doing? 
I'm gonna get my distractor or a tractor and then get that. Check the bag thing first. Get some ammo. Finally, Jesus. God damn it, get back here with that! Shit, that's mine! Ah, oh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. I'll grab it again. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here... Shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting in... They're studying it. What do you mean? You know, like tying it up. Taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't... you don't think that Sarah... No! No! I... I... I don't know. I'm just... He's Mom. alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Good. Yeah, Thank you, boozers. I'm boozer. gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? Oh, alright. Okay. Must be cutscene of some sort. Oh, we're remembering. This video stops, so I need to hurry up with this thing. <laughs> but say, I've got an hour, hour, hour limit. <laughs> if it does stop abruptly, though, I am sorry, and I'll just continue straight off where we left off. Walks away. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. <laughs> That's great. That is just perfect. <laughs> That is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belnap, Belnee, Belnap? Bel 
Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> hey! Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know. How do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, just throw your uh, just... leg over. Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh wow. No problem. It's just there are no bars out here, so Well sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's uh No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. <laughs> Super cute. Hey, hey, look out! Shit, look. Redneck, I just said. Assholes! Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm just. Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, fine. I just. Oh my god. Hey. Hey. Got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just. The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um. I don't know, some. I don't know where I Road am. 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Isn't yeah, she wondering why he knows all that? Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, I'd be happy to give you a ride. So. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> all right. I just <sighs> just give me a second. <sighs> There'll be any minute now. All right. So... All right. All right. Screw it. Let's go. Just drive a little careful this time. Okay. <laughs> It's you were really stop. lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so... The company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what oh, the God. hell? Clean! We got company! Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. I'm the one doing this, by the way. Again. Uh, 
Hit him. Not so tough, <laughs> am I? Oh my god, this is gonna end in a second. I'm just gonna warn you. First. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, okay, okay. I saw gone, it in your gone. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were, you know there what were we're no bars, there was no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? <laughs> Ooh. No, that. Oh, it's gonna end like in a minute. I'm not even kidding you. You got one minute, 30 seconds. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, while it's doing this, I'll just like, end it and then we'll start. Join us in the next episode for the rest of what happens after. <laughs>